Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Ace Sai. I'm back. I'm bringing you guys another video. As you know, for those of you that have stuck around, I post videos every single day. I haven't missed a single day since I started this channel. At least I don't think I have. Uh, anyway, so for those of you that are new, we uh, we kind of have a schedule going on. We watch two days of whatever history series I'm watching, which is currently Rome, and then we get into a video that you guys have requested, and then we uh, and then we watch something that I want. So today is the video that I want. Don't get me wrong, I like all of them. I wouldn't watch it if I don't like them. But something that I have chosen on my own, and this is going to be Al Murray on Nations of the World. So several of you have uh, requested this, and you've also requested uh, Al Murray versus Americans. So I'm going to look into that. Uh, and then, of course, the Dutch War of Independence. A couple of you have requested that. And that's going to be in a couple days. I had to push it back a little bit. So it'll be after the next two uh, Roman Caesar series. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that like button, hit that sub, leave me a comment with what you want to see, and I'll get to it. I promise I have a long list, but I promise I will try my best to get to it. I do forget about a couple of them, and if, uh, if I didn't add it to the list, or I forgot about it, or it snuck through, remind me again in a couple weeks, okay? Uh, anyway, I'm going to sit back, I'm going to shut up, grab yourself a drink, and uh, let's check this out, okay? We were gods! <laughs> and there she is, at the top, in the middle of the map. <laughs> Great Britain. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than that. She's beautiful, isn't she? Hey? The only actually sexually attractive country on the map. Hey? <laughs> Here, Ludwig, one look at her. Hey, she's beautiful, isn't she, mate? Hey? Mm, I can see why you lot wanted her so much. I don't know, man. What about if you're into big high heel boot uh, women, you know? Or men, whatever. Uh, you got Italy. That's a pretty sexually attractive looking country. Now, the point is. <laughs> And Great Britain is, of course, the centre of the earth. That's a scientific fact. It <laughs> cannot be argued with. Straight through Great Britain runs the north line of longitude. Great Britain is scientifically, technically, provably the centre of the earth. Yeah? Yeah? Because of the north line of longitude. All right. We put the line there, but it still stands. Now. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Well, it means that we, the British, us in here, we're in charge of what time is all over the world. It's fucking beautiful, isn't it? It means the Germans don't sit down for their lunch until we say it's one o'clock. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, the man has a point, you know. It, uh, I just replied to a comment and I said, yeah, I'm going to be posting a video on X or whatever about this at, uh, at, on this date at this time. And then I, I put Greenwich Median Time and uh, minus eight. That way that I didn't have to put Pacific Central Time, you know, or Pacific Daylight Time. And we wrote a book, we did, and we wrote it in English, the finest language in the world, in fact, the finest language in the universe, a language even spoken in space, as any fan of Star Trek will tell you. A language... <laughs> a language even Americans can handle with some degree of skill, though there. <laughs> Your boss needs a few lessons, mate. Now, you look at it. <laughs> Axel of Elvis, what's he on about? You look at this. <laughs> Which is beautiful, I mean... I mean, we invented work. We, the British, invented work. That is a fact. Yeah, we've what? done everything. We invented work. We had a revolution, industrial revolution, invented work. The French didn't. They had a French revolution when they invented being French. <laughs> As a result, a lot of dead French people. <laughs> Progress. The Russians. <laughs> Ask any historian. The Russians, they had a similar revolution outcome. Yeah, we didn't bother with that. Yeah, we had an industrial revolution when we invented work. At the end of it, everyone had shoes, a knife and a fork, and a giant fucking metal ship each. You can't argue with that. It's a good point. That's why we, the British, are currently entitled to have our feet up and have whatever we want made by a Malaysian four-year-old for a pound. <laughs> you and I earned that. We should make the most of it. Now. <laughs> yeah, and it's a broad church, Great Britain. We've got the Scots, we've got the Jocks, of course, and I love you, Jocks. You're beautiful people. Yeah, yeah. I love you. You're beautiful. And it's... You jocks, you like to say, don't you, Paul? You like to say, ah, the Battle of Bannockburn. Nay, nay, the Battle of Bannockburn. Nay, when the field ran red with English blood, when Robert the Bruce told the English indeed, a lesson he would never forget. Fair play. Got to give it to you on that one. You want it fair and square. But you say Bannockburn, I say Culloden, because it's not the heat that count, is it, mate? It's the final. <laughs> <laughs> as far as I remember you. You lot have never actually been in the final, have you? Now, look at this. Damn. You look at this. Sin. Our Celtic brethren, the Welsh, and I love the Welsh. They're beautiful people, aren't they? God bless the Welsh. Hey, and what's interesting about the Welsh is it said they have an accent. I don't think they do. I think they have an attitude, with all due respect. <laughs> Every time a Welsh bloke opens his mouth, he sounds as though he's dying of some inner fucking hurt and torment that he hasn't figured out yet. 
whatever it is, even on his wedding day, the happiest day of his life, he sounds pissed off, doesn't he? This is the happiest day of my life! I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you, the most beautiful woman I've ever seen! <laughs> in Cardiff! <laughs> Why won't it stop raining now, next door? There's our cheeky sidekick, Island, of course. Damn. <laughs> 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 I don't know if this, if this is very PC for 2021. <laughs> it's a comedy show. Who cares? But Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at it. We're like a motorbike and sidecar. <laughs> They'd be going nowhere without us. <laughs> Oh, they've changed the name, paint a different colour, but we're the ones with the fucking engine. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I... Oi! No. I'll be the first to admit it's been a bumpy ride with the Irish. It's not always gone according to plan. And even when it has gone according to plan, they haven't liked that either, have they? Leading to long, expensive judicial inquiries. But... It's all... <laughs> There's a lot went wrong. I mean, that potato famine was a terrible fucking business. But you can get crisps for love nor money in this country. <laughs> That's when we first turned to peanuts in my business. Yeah. <laughs> Got to keep the punters thirsty somehow. <laughs> but I love the Irish and I have infinite respect for them up to a point because over many years, over many years they've done much for us, haven't they? I mean, they, they dug our roads and now they sing for our amusement. It's fantastic. <laughs> 20 years ago, Westlife would have been digging the M25. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> oh, I believe I can fly. Yeah, all right. Is it level? Get back to it. <laughs> They've done well for a bunch of tone-deaf, spud-faced chances. Jesus. <laughs> Next, of course, we have the neighbour from hell. Rats! Oh, God. I don't know why we don't just grow a great big hedge up the English Channel. I know that uh, many of you said it was just kind of a joke, but God dang, you guys make fun of the French a lot. <laughs> Spoil their light, eh? Big noisy party in Kent. Chuck some dog shit over the fence. Hey! <laughs> Set fire to a few tyres. Hey! <laughs> That'll be the way to go. France, or the France, as it first called itself. The France. La France. <laughs> the France. In case we should confuse it with some other France. <laughs> this France, or that France, or courageous, reliable, turning up in times of battle France. Or... <laughs> 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 You work your way down, there's the unsolved Rubik's Cube of Europe there. Spain and Portugal, as you can see. Can't get them last two bricks. Now... <laughs> <laughs> Who has been to Spain? Show of hands, please. I wish. Everybody basically, I would love basically to go to Spain. Spain. Armada, 1588, we defeated the Spanish. As a result, they signed a humiliating treaty allowing our boys and girls to go and fight on their beaches. Of course. We've got to stay match fit somehow. Now, <laughs> this had the added bonus if the Spanish try anything, we're poised, ready to invade the following morning once our heads have cleared and we've stopped copulating like eels. I'll tell you what, <laughs> what goes on in Spain is filthy, isn't it, Annie? It's filthy, isn't it, love? Filthy, isn't it? Filthy. Say it, love. Filthy. Yeah, of course, filthy, like that. Filthy, like that. Filthy. 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 My little Canadian friend, you say filthy now as well. Say filthy. 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 <laughs> yeah, how about you two look at each other and say filthy? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. You might enjoy it. You never know. It could be the beginning of something very interesting. Come on. Do it! <laughs> Come on. Oh, that was fantastic, wasn't it? That's every man's dream, isn't it? The chance to disappoint two women at once. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, love, I'm puffed out from the first one. Ah. Look at this. And the whole thing with Spain, right, this is a great place to go on holiday because it's extremely hot, right? Yeah, in fact, it's so hot you can't think, innit? You get off the plane, you can't even fucking think your way down at the end of the stairs. You have a couple of beers, you wipe your own memory. It's the perfect place to go and get away from everything because you can't think, you can't remember anything. Fucking brilliant. Yeah? Is it really that hot? Going there for two weeks, a week, weekend, whatever. Yeah, for the British to get away from it all, go to a country where it's too hot to think. But for the people actually living there, it's caused all sorts of problems. <laughs> yeah, the Spanish, I mean, they have that lie down in the afternoon to try and clear their heads and make some decisions in the evening. But... <laughs> 
It's played havoc with their decision-making process, isn't it? For many centuries, they were convinced the Earth was flat. I mean, for Christ's sake. It's not even level, is it? It's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, mountains are the clue, aren't they? Fuck it hell. Hey, look around you, Carlos. I mean, they had to be... <laughs> they had to be proved wrong by an Italian. That's how low they'd sunk. Then there's a... <laughs> That whole business of fighting animals, bullfighting. Now, I have no row with a cow. I want no battle with cattle. It's not personal, is it, the whole thing with a cow? We look rear a cow, look after it for a couple of years, and it turns itself into the abattoir. But it's not personal, is it? Right? It's, it's a business arrangement. It's not personal. I wouldn't punch a cow in the face. It would be a humiliating thing to do to it on its way to its death. I wouldn't True. do that. Right? It would be unfair on the cow. It just so happens I'm hungry, he's made a beef. It's not personal, is it? <laughs> But not the Spanish. <laughs> Obviously, I'll punch a squirrel if I can get close enough. <laughs> Fuck you, you little bastard. It's a damn good question. Would you guys punch a squirrel? I don't know that I can even punch a squirrel. Like, seriously, man. Oh. Stop leaving nuts in the sand pit in the beer garden. But <laughs> if I did punch a squirrel, I'd be doing it for myself. What? Out of curiosity or revenge. I wouldn't... I wouldn't be doing it for the amusement of strangers in an arena. I wouldn't put on tights. <laughs> I wouldn't stick pins in a squirrel first to enrage him. <laughs> I wouldn't wave a cape the colour squirrels don't like. Just plenty of grey green like a rotten nut. I don't fucking know, it doesn't matter. I wouldn't do it. Normal. Hey, Ludwig, what's your animal size punching limit cut off? What's the biggest animal? You'd punch, Ludwig. <laughs> a dog. Yeah, but there's all sorts of... What, you're talking a Great Dane or a Terrier? What are we talking? Great Dane. You punch a Great Dane. <laughs> what? So that's you and the... That's the Germans all over it, the Danish. You're not happy with them, each other, are you? Oh, my God. I would never punch that big of a dog unless it was attacking yeah, me. The point is... The point is this. Right? I mean, if you chucked a donkey off a church tower in Great Britain... <laughs> yes, exactly. Right. If you chucked a donkey off a church tower in Great Britain, right? Yeah, you'd be on a register in about 15 minutes flat, wouldn't you? Big angry crowd of fat women in shell suits protesting at your doorstep. <laughs> having brought their kids along without the faintest idea what's going on. <laughs> That's because this country is normal. Now, nah. <laughs> you work your way along, there's Italy. And I'd like to point out right now that this is, this is fact. There's no opinion in what's to follow. The basic thing with Italy, right, is they've got no follow through, have they? You don't see stuff through, so it's logical. 43, okay. they hold it early. <laughs> Venice, they still haven't called a plumber. It's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> it's under them stairs. Yeah, do it fucking, do up the stopcock, for Christ's sake. <laughs> yeah, in any other country, a flooded city that stank of shit would be regarded as a disaster, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Not some sort of romantic jewel in a crown. <laughs> I mean, a pizza. What is a pizza? I tell you, it's a pasty that some arsehole hasn't shut yet, isn't it? <laughs> Shut the pasty, Giuseppe! <laughs> Volcanoes, because I ain't finished. Up here, we have Germany. Now, I respect the Germans, I do. Yeah, because they tried twice, didn't they? <laughs> Two cracks of the world title, you'll have to respect that. Fair enough. <laughs> Swiss, there's of course the plucky Swiss, Switzerland there. I mean, God bless the Swiss. I mean, look at the situation those people have got themselves into. Hey, look at it, hey? French to the right of them, yeah? Austrians to the left of them, Germans up above, Italians down below. Hey? You'd never sell that flat, would you? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be able to shift it, no matter how tidy it was, how much chocolate you left lying around. This Austria, which is made of pastry, that's why it shrunk. You work your way down, you've got Yugoslavia. Now, basically, basically, I'll explain it for the MP. Basically, basically, Jane, the people who live in Yugoslavia don't really get on. That's all you need to know. Now, and a while ago, we, the British, bombed it, yeah? Because it's very complicated. We bombed it to make it simpler for them. But, um, <laughs> Can't argue about who lives where when there's no houses left, can you? Hey. Damn. That might be the most brutal thing he said yet. Jesus Christ. No pleasing some people. Down here, Albania, where the albinos live. You've got, uh, <laughs> Greece, where they invented the Olympics. Turkey, where they invented Christmas. I know which one I prefer. It comes around every year. It's Bulgaria, Romania, <laughs> Moldavia, the Womble countries. It's, uh... I like Moldova. the only country you can get the word urine out of in one go. 
There's Poland, where everyone's a trained plumber. Lithuania, where they're all electricians. Estonia, where they're all uh, plasterers. And Latvia, where everyone's a carpenter. Coming over here, doing the jobs we're not prepared to do because we've all got worthless degrees in media studies. <laughs> there's Sam. <laughs> I mean, look at, look at the size. When you look at the world from this angle, though, look at the size of Russia. Look at the size. Oh, just look at the size of Russia. Annie, pop up, measure Russia, love. Come on, put a finger either end of Russia, sweetheart. That's it. Good girl. Your dreams are going to come true for you. That's it. Yeah. Did yeah, you see? Did you see exactly? Hold the fingers up. Show everyone exactly how big, how big, how big. Yes, you, you're getting a message yet, sweetheart. <laughs> There's a fine line between banter and harassment, isn't there? Jesus. Fucking European court. Now, what is this? I mean, Russia's gigantic, yeah? She goes all the way around to America, yeah? Then you've got the international date line that we set up a while back so middle-aged men from Birmingham can meet and marry ladies from the Philippines. Then we have... <laughs> the Pacific Rim, Andrew. Yeah, I've got your number, pal. <laughs> Japan, of course, Korea. Well, well, of course, the Korean War, that was a terrible business. Basically, we found out they were eating dogs and sent in the RSPCA rifles as quickly as we could. There's some... <laughs> China, where they put a man into space very recently. Mind you, they didn't use a rocket, they just stood on each other's shoulders and passed him up. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the leotard shortage two years ago. There's some... Um... <laughs> Mongolia, of course, we're not allowed to call it that anymore, eh? Fucking social workers. There's some... Um... Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I feel like an idiot. It's, <laughs> is that a joke, or...? What's, what? What? God, I feel like a stupid American for a second. Seriously, uh, what the hell are we calling it? Is that a joke that I missed? Let me know. There's Kazakhstan, of course, where the Kazakhs live, Uzbekistan, where the Uzbekis live, Turkmenistan, where the Turkmenis live, Tajikistan, where the Tajikis live, and Kazakhstan, where they're taking a fucking piss, to be honest. <laughs> and it goes all the way around to Europe, yeah? Russia's gigantic, a massive country, endless mineral resources, and a population used to doing exactly as they're told for tuppence. And it's still crap, they can't turn it around. And I think... The simple reason for this is they need, and the only way they're going to fix it, they need to get in a proper working alphabet with actual letters that people can read. <laughs> it's <a> nonsense. <laughs> Dingbats, what are they thinking? Down here, of course, Africa. Now, as a man of science, yeah, like Ben here, the doctor, would tell us that all human life originally evolved in Africa. Would yeah, you say that? 100%. Absolutely. Well, I can't agree with you, mate. I was in Devon three weeks ago. <laughs> Let me tell you this, natural selection's got some power lifting to do in Plymouth. <laughs> no thumbs, tails, it's an outrage. <laughs> Cornwall is actually Celtic for cousin's wedding. And we have... <laughs> the Middle East. <laughs> Careful! <laughs> in fact, the Middle East is extremely complicated. In fact, it's so complicated that me explaining it here tonight could possibly make it worse. <laughs> We'll have a punt, why not? Fuck it. The point is, I mean, basically, it's basically all you really need to know, Jane, is the people that live there don't really get on, right? And for my money, they should all pull their heads in. Right? Pull your heads in, fellas. Calm down. Yeah, that's my advice. I mean, the Israelis. I don't like the people at the end of my road. Well, I haven't bought a tank. Hey! It's got a good point, man. I like that term. You don't like somebody? Deal with it. Calm down. Once you've bought a tank, you've got to use it, anyway. That's where all the problems arise. <laughs> and a while ago, we, the British, very helpfully stepped in to try and sort out the Middle East once and for all. We did. We did. We made an effort, yeah, on our way through to India to get a cuppa. And we... <laughs> we sat them all down, back of an envelope, red pen and a ruler, and we drew them some nice new straight borders, yeah, around the naturally occurring oil that we had found that they weren't looking for. <laughs> <laughs> And we set them up with kings and queens and Arab countries with beautiful Arab names like Syria and Iraq and Jordan and Saudi Arabia. Yeah? I mean, we could have just called them Shell, S-O, BP, <laughs> Texaco, Wild Bean Cafe, but no! <laughs> Iraq, that's ours now. There's Iran, who's next. There's Afghanistan, work in progress. There's uh, <laughs> Pakistan, who need to get their house in order. And then, of course, <laughs> India, or 118 dear, as I prefer to call it. <laughs> Basically, the Geordies asked for too much money. <laughs> what they were... What they were going to spend a pound a week on, I can't imagine. Here we have... But India, 
is a land of ancient mysterious mystic ancient mystery an ancient mysterious mystic land locked within an ancient mysterious mystic tradition of ancient mysterious mystic mystery wrapped within the mysteries of ancient mysticism <laughs> with four billion people that we used to run with two blokes and a bike and how, Damn. how we got away with that i can't imagine that's the actual mystery here you work your way around there's the dangling genitals of southeast asia as you can see you can see that there and if you see that dangling you know, just fantastic. There's uh, Vietnam, the left bullet, Cambodia, the right bullet, <laughs> Malaysia, the bell end, Singapore, the Japs eye. There's uh, <laughs> Christmas Island, where it is Christmas every day. Someone should tell Wizard and they can fucking knock it off. There's uh, <laughs> Indonesia, Papa's got a brand new Guinea. There's Australia, <laughs> or Wilkinson land, as I prefer to call it. Here we have New Zealand, yeah. Yeah. New Zealand, yeah, of course. Land of ancient hobbits and orcs. Hey, yeah, yeah, you like the hobbits, don't you, Andrew? They're about the right height, aren't they, pal? You have definitely thought about it. It's all you can think about. You're, you are obsessed, mate. That's all you can think about all the time. You can't get it out of your head. What about now, Australia? Up here, of course, we have uh, Hawaii, where Pearl Harbor is, as everyone knows. Yeah. Everyone knows where the Americans were taken completely by surprise. Two years into a global war. <laughs> <laughs> You're amateurs. Yeah, but I mean, we were neutral at the time. Mate, now, nah. <laughs> Trop Tropic of Cancer, they should change that, it's tasteless. Um, it's <laughs> that setting for the relatives. There's Easter Island, of course, where the there's lots of chocolate. Galapagos, where we invented evolution. Down here, <laughs> the South Pole. Now, everyone knows that the British were actually second to the South Pole. That's a fact. I'm not afraid of admitting that. But, because we got there second, we were able to verify that the other bloke got there first. Which means, strictly speaking, we're the umpire on that one. Therefore, it's our game, our rules, we win. Come on, <laughs> Come on, that. <laughs> Falkland Islands, 1982, no help from no one else, eh? Fantastic. And that wasn't a war for oil either. That was a war for penguins, which, of course, are an essential ingredient in making Guinness. You boil them up, the white stuff floats to the top. <laughs> <There's that. laughs> God, I hate Argentina, Guinness. Chile, which is stringy. Up here we have Peru. Has anyone here been to Peru? Anyone at all? Yeah, a few, a couple of people been to Peru. Yeah, the lady there, what's your name, love? Laura. Posh. Now, you went, what was Peru like, love? Beautiful. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm never going there, sweetheart. And I urge none of you to go there, and I urge none of you to have anything to do with I Peru. I heard it's amazing. Because right? that country might be beautiful, love, but it's bang out of order. I'm no bleeding. Before he gets into this joke, like I said, I don't like Guinness, but that being said, don't get on me and say, well, you like Budweiser, Bud Light, or Coors, or, or something like that. I don't like that crap either, man. I like, I like a good beer. I like a good craft beer, not these massively made beers. You're not. You've detected that by now, but the way they treat their bears is a fucking outrage. <laughs> the way they take a bear when he's not even fully grown, they give him a suitcase and a... Scruffy old hat and a scruffy old coat. They give him his travel documents and note, please look after this bear, not even so what his fucking name is. <laughs> Send him off on his way, eh? Jesus. An outrage. <laughs> Coming over here eating our marmalade sandwiches. There's that. <laughs> There's Colombia, where excitement's from. There's uh... <laughs> Venezuela, capital city, Caracas. Grow up. Yeah. <laughs> Panama, one canal. I'm not impressed. We've got thousands, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> and ours will lead to Great Britain. Don't they? Not the arse end of fucking nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's the cricketing area. Not what it was. There's um, Mexico, capital city, Mexico City. Make it Original. <laughs> And, of course, the United States of America, which is basically, the best way of looking at it, really, is that it's a good idea that's got out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, they've lost the plot, these people. Look, you can't call a town Tampa. It's going to confuse the ladies. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, they got off to a good start in New England. You can see what they're trying to do there. I mean, you've got, <laughs> you've got Norfolk, Durham, Richmond, Birmingham, Newark, Hartford. <laughs> Manchester, yeah, they're starting to run out of sensible names, aren't they? Like <laughs> Welsh name alert, they're in the shit. I mean, then they go mad. <laughs> Chattanooga, Tennessee, Albuquerque. It's not, we're not, we're not playing fucking Scrabble, fellas. <laughs> 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 I 
up here, of course, is Canada. Now, these people in this part of Canada are absolutely... Com <laughs> this is priceless. <laughs> these, pe <laughs> these people in this part of Canada are absolutely convinced <laughs> that they're French. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the case. They're just living somewhere shit and it's a reflex action. <laughs> God, you guys hate the French. Baffin Island without a baffin on it. Greenland, which is white. Iceland, which is a volcano. The Faroe Islands, nowhere near Egypt. I'm not responsible for the names. And back here... Back here, of course, is Great Britain. Because that's one of the most beautiful things about the world being round the way the British God made it for us. <laughs> Because God is British, that's why we don't have earthquakes in this country. Because <laughs> you don't shit on your own doorstep. <laughs> the most beautiful thing about the world being round is whichever way you go, you'll always end up back here, in Great Britain, here in Her Majesty's London, on a Sunday night, drinking the Bluesbury Theatre with people like you. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's about it. Yep. All right. What do you guys think? Uh... He really is funny, but he is incredibly intelligent, you know? Um, these things that he just pulls out of his ass, the knowledge that he has is just incredible. <laughs> I'm definitely going to watch more of his videos for sure. <laughs> Hope you guys dug it. Let me know what you guys want to see. And if you're new to the channel, hit that like, hit that sub, leave me a comment with what you want to see. Uh, until next time, I love y'all. They say hi, and I'm out.